Today we are going to do the estimation of a building having a single room and in this question we also have the veranda portion as well as the parapet walls. When we cut this plan from this cutting plane that is in XY and we observe this building from this side then we will get this section at XY and when we cut this plan from this cutting plane that means from ABCD then we will get the elevation of this house. Here is the elevation on ABCD. And in this question, we have the pillar foundation and the section is given on this side. And today we are going to do the estimation for earthwork in excavation, earthwork in plinth filling, lime concrete in foundation, first class brickwork in cement mortar, 2.5 cm thick DPC and first class brickwork in superstructure. Let's start by visualizing the 3D of this question. Here we can see that there are the veranda pillars. There is a door, there are windows, here is the RCC slab and above the RCC slab there is a parapet wall. And here is the ground level of this building and below the ground level we can see that there are different type of the footing for this pillar as well as this veranda walls. So in this question we are going to do the center line method for this walls and long wall short wall for this veranda portion. Okay, let's start by calculating the center line of this main wall having 30 cm wall. We know that the total center line equals to summation of the horizontal length plus summation of the vertical length. So let's calculate the summation of the horizontal length. We have to calculate the horizontal length from this point to this point. That means the small portion is 0 0.3 by 2 and the internal dimension of the room is 4.2 meter and this portion is also 0 0.3 by 2. So, horizontal length equals to, I can write 2 times of 0 0.3 by 2 plus internal dimension of the room, 4.2 meter. And we have this horizontal length twice, that means from this portion also. So, we can simply write into 2. Now, the vertical length is from this point to this point, that means this small portion is 0 0.3 by 2. And the internal dimension of this room is 5 meter and this portion is also 0 0.3 by 2. So, the vertical length is 2 times of 0 0.3 by 2 plus the vertical length of room that is 5 meter. And we have this same length twice that means this portion is also the same length so we can simply multiply by 2. So our total length is 19.6 meter. Now we are going to do the long wall short wall method in this veranda portion. So we will consider this front part as the veranda long wall portion and this side 2 short walls. So we have to calculate the center line from this point to this point. That means firstly we need to calculate the outer to outer length from this portion to this portion. And we have to deduct these two points. That is this point to this point and this point to this point. So the outer to outer length of this portion to this portion is 2 times of 0 0.3. That means this wall as well as this wall and the plus the internal dimension that is 4.2 meter but we have to reduce these two portion to get the center line of this front long wall that means this pillar is of 30 centimeter dimension and this pillar is also 30 centimeter in dimension that means we have to reduce this 0 0.3 by 2 from this side and 0 0.3 by 2 from this side also so minus 0 0.3 by 2 from one side of the pillar and another 0 0.3 by 2 so we get 4.5 meter. Now we have to calculate the center line of this veranda side walls. That means from this center to this center as well as this center to this center. So we have this inner dimension of this veranda 2 meter. And this small portion is 0 0.3 by 2. And this small portion is also 0 0.3 by 2. So the total length is 2 meter wide veranda plus 0 0.3 by 2. That means half of the pillar width and plus 0 0.3 by 2 that is half of the width of the wall so we get the total length 2.3 meter now the first step is to do the excavation in the foundation and we are going to do this main wall by center line method so we can easily write the numbers one we have the length that is 19.6 meter and the breadth of this wall is we can see from the section that is 0 0.8 meter so our breadth is 0 0.8 and the height of excavation is up to the ground level that is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.25 that means the total is 0 0.95 meter and we get the total quantity 14.89 cubic meter 
here we have section of this pillar foundation and we have to do the excavation of 0 0.7 meter to the height of this ground level so we have the veranda pillars three in number that means we have the three number of veranda pillars and we can see that this is square in shape that means 30 into 30 and here the section is 70 centimeters so we can assume that they are all square so we can write number of this veranda pillar 3 length of this pillar is 0 0.7 meter breadth of this pillar is also 0 0.7 meter and the height of excavation is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.25 that is 0 0.65 and we get the total quantity as 0 0.96 cubic meter now we have to do the excavation of this veranda front long wall that means this portion and we have the center line from this point to this point that is 4.5 meter and we can see that we have already calculated this excavation for the veranda pillar that means 0 0.7 meter length and breadth is already considered so we don't need to consider this veranda pillar again so we have to reduce them that means in this center to center length we have to reduce the excavation portion that means this portion is 0 0.7 by 2 excavation that is already done and this portion is 0 0.7 and this portion is 0 0.7 by 2 length equals to the center to center length that is 4.5 meter minus 0 0.7 by 2 this pillar is 0 0.7 meter so minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 by 2 so we get the total length 3.1 meter we have the number of front long wall 1 we have the length of this veranda front 3.1 meter and the breadth is 0 0.46 this is the section of this veranda dwarf wall and these are the section of this main wall so width equals to 0 0.46 and the height of excavation is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.45 that means 0 0.6 meter so the total quantity is 0 0.86 cubic meter now we have to do the veranda side walls while calculating this veranda side we can see that the center line of this veranda shot is 2.3 meter from this center line to this center line but we have already calculated this excavation portion that is 0 0.7 by 2 is already considered and this trench is also of 0 0.8 by 2 in the main wall which is already calculated so we have to reduce this 0 0.8 by 2 and this 0 0.7 by 2 in this center line so we have these two number of the sort wall and the length is the center to center line 2.3 meter that is from here minus this portion that is the pillar portion minus 0 0.7 by 2 and this portion is 0 0.8 by 2 minus 0 0.8 by 2 so our total length is 1.55 the breadth of this veranda portion is 0 0.46 that means we have to do the excavation of 0 0.46 meter wall in this veranda portion and the height is up to the ground level that is 0 0.6 meter and we get the total quantity 0 0.86 now we have to do the excavation for the steps here we can see that this is the dwarf wall having the width of the 0 0.46 and we have already excavated up to this portion this portion to this portion and we have the steps to be excavated that is this portion but we can see that this portion is already calculated so in this total length we have to reduce this small portion to get the required excavation width so this portion is 0 0.46 minus 0 0.2 meter wall divided by 2 and we can see that this total length is 0 0.7 meter and if we reduce this small portion in 0 0.7 we will get this required length so our width equals to 0 0.57 meter so i'll write first breadth equals to 0 0.57 we have the number of steps one we can see here this small portion is the lime concrete portion is 0 0.7 meter and we have the total length of this treads 0 0.3 meter each that means we have two tread and the total length of the trade is 0 0.6 meter so we have this length 0 0.6 meter that means 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 and we have this small portion that is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 that means we have this length 0 0.1 meter in 3d it will look like this it means that this small projection is 0 0.1 meter all over these steps so we have 0 0.1 meter from this side and 0 0.1 meter from this side that means the total length of this step is 2 meter plus 0 0.1 from this side and 0 0.1 meter from this side that is 2.2 meter 
so we have this length equals to 2 plus 2 times of this projection that is 0 0.1 from both sides so we have the length equals to 2.2 meter and we have the height of excavation that is this portion is 0 0.1 meter so our height equals to 0 0.1 and we get the total quantity 0 0.13 cubic meter and the total quantity is 17.7 .7 cubic meter now we are going to calculate the earthwork in plinth for this we need to see the section on xy and this is our xy plane so when we cut this building from the xy plane it will look like this so this is the section of the veranda door falls these are the section of the main wall this is also the section of the main wall in this section xy we can clearly see that the center line of this veranda pillar is in this line but the center line of this veranda door fall is in this line that means these two center line doesn't meet at the same line so in 3d we can clearly visualize this here we can clearly see that the center line of this veranda and the pillar is not intersected at the same line. Here we have the inner dimension of this room 4.2 meter from this plan that means this portion to this portion is 4.2 meter but we have to do the earthwork in filling from this point to this point that means we have to deduct this small portion from this side as well as from this side so this small portion length is we have this wall 0.4 meter from our elevation that is this 40 centimeter and we have this wall 30 centimeter that means this is 30 centimeter that is 0.3 meter so this small portion is 0.4 minus 0.3 by 2 that is 0.05 on this side and 0.05 on this side similarly we have this length 40 centimeter wall and this length 30 centimeter wall so this small portion is 0.4 minus 0.3 by 2 that is 0.05 so we have to do the filling from this point to this point that is 4.2 minus 0.05 on this side and 0.05 on this side so we get the total length 4.1 meter so we can write the length as 4.1 meter similarly we have the vertical dimension of this room 5 meter and we have reduced 0.05 on this side as well as this side as same process so our width equals to vertical dimension of room 5 meter minus 0.05 from one side and another 0.05 from another side so the breadth equals to 4.9 meter now we have to calculate the height so we have to reduce this 0.075 lc in the height of this plinth so we get our total height 0.375 meter so we can write the height equals to 0.375 meter and we get the total quantity 7.53 and the unit is cubic meter now we have to do this filling for the veranda we have the center line of veranda front wall 4.5 meter that is from this point to this point but we can see that here are the pillars of 0.4 meter width in the plinth level from the section of the pillar foundation that means this is the plinth level and in the plinth level there is the pillar of 40 centimeter width that is 0.4 meter width but we have to do the filling only for this portion except the pillar and in this portion we are going to calculate the center line from this point to this point and then reduce this small portion that is 0.4 by 2 this portion 0.4 meter and this portion 0.4 by 2 and the length is we can easily write the center line length because we are going to reduce the pillar portion in this step so I have to reduce this 0.4 in the central wall and 0.4 by 2 in these two sides so we have the central pillar 1 that means this portion and in the plinth level it has the width of 0.4 meter which is to be reduced so I will write 0.4 meter we have two number of this sides pillar so I can write the numbers too I have to reduce this 0.4 by 2 from this side and this side and I have already written the number 2 so the length equals to 0.4 by 2 we are going to calculate the earthwork in filling in the sides of the veranda so we need to see the section of this veranda side here we can see that here is a pillar so here is the foundation of this pillar and here is the main wall so here is the section of this main wall we have to do the filling from this point to this point now we can see this two meter wall from this pillar up to the main wall so this small portion is not needed that is this small portion is of length 0.4 minus 0.3 by 2 that is 0.05 is to be deducted 
So firstly, I will write the length as 2 meter minus 0 0.05 and we don't do the earthwork in filling for this pillar section. But we have to calculate the length up to this center line and we will deduct the pillar width in the plinth level. So firstly, we have to add this center line to get this length from this portion to this portion. So I will add the center line of the pillar 0 0.3 by 2 and later we will reduce this length in this plinth level to get this portion. So I get the breadth 2.1 meter. Now we have this 2.1 meter that means from this center line up to this portion. But we can clearly see that this 0 0.4 by 2 is to be reduced because we don't do filling in this pillar portion. So in this side verandas we have to reduce 0 0.4 by 2 and in the central pillar also we have to reduce 0 0.4 by 2 that is 0 0.2 meter so i'll reduce 0 0.4 by 2 in this central wall as well as this side wall with equals to 0 0.2 meter that is 0 0.4 by 2 and here also 0 0.2 meter now we will get the total length from this point to this point now we have the height of this filling 0 0.375 and we get our total quantity 3.54 and we have to reduce this central pillar up to the height of 0 0.375 so height equals to 0 0.375 and we have to reduce this too so we can write minus 0 0.03 and here also the height is 0 0.375 and the total quantity is 0 0.03 and we get this total as 11.01 .01 cubic meter now we have to do this lime concrete in foundation and you can see here this lime concrete is all over this building here also lime concrete is given so we will do this main wall by center line method we have number of main walls one so the center line is 19.6 meter and the breadth of this lime concrete is 0 0.8 meter up to the height of 30 centimeter that is 0 0.3 meter so breadth equals to 0 0.8 meter and height equals to 0 0.3 meter and the total quantity is 4.7 cubic meter now we have to do this lime concrete in this veranda portion also so while doing this veranda lime concrete we can see that in this veranda there is 46 centimeter lime concrete all over this veranda and up to the height of 15 centimeter and when we make the same level in this main wall we can see that there is 60 centimeter wall from elevation in 3d it will look like this and at the same time we also need to see this pillar foundation section and here is a pillar of 0.7 centimeter so here is the pillar of 0.7 into 0.7 meter now we can see that we have three numbers of pillar having the width of 0.7 meter so we can easily write the veranda pillars number three and the length is 0.7 meter and the width is also 0.7 meter and the height is we can see from the section of this pillar foundation that is 0.2 meter so the height is 0.2 meter and the total quantity is 0.29 and the unit is cubic meter now we have to do this veranda dwarf wall we have the front veranda from this point to this point and we have the center line 4.5 meter we have numbers 1 and the length equals to center to center line 4.5 meter and we have already calculated this veranda pillar so in the center line length we have to reduce this pillar portion that is 0 0.7 by 2 from this side 0 0.7 meter from this central veranda and 0 0.7 by 2 from this veranda side so i can write minus 0 0.7 by 2 again minus 0 0.7 and again minus 0 0.7 by 2 so the total length is 3.1 meter but we have the width of this veranda here we can see 46 centimeter up to the height of 15 centimeter so length equals to 3.1 meter width is 0 0.46 that means this portion 0 0.46 and the height is 0 0.15 so we get the total quantity 0 0.21 now we have to do this lime concrete for the veranda sides also and in the main wall there is 0 0.6 meter wall and this veranda has the width of 0 0.46 meter that is this portion is also 0 0.46 meter width 
and the pillar has a width of 0.7 meter. That means this is 0.7 meter pillar here, here and here. And we have the center line of this veranda side 2.3 meter. That means here 2.3 meter. But we required only this point to this point. That means we have to reduce this 0.7 by 2 from this side and 0.6 by 2 from this side. So the length equals to center to center line 2.3 meter minus pillar width. Because we have already done this pillar portion that is 0.7 by 2 and this portion that is main wall is 0.6 meter so this portion is 0.6 by 2 so the total length is 1.65 and length is 1.65 width of this veranda is 0.46 and height is 0.15 so the total quantity is 0.23 now we have to do this line concrete for the steps we have already calculated that this small portion is 0.1 meter and this portion is also 0.1 projection. So the total length is 2 meter plus 0.1 plus 0.1 that is 2.2 meter. Width of this line concrete is 0.7 meter from the section XY and the height is 0.1 meter. So the total quantity is 0.15 now we have to calculate this first class brickwork in foundation and plinth for this main wall we have the first footing that means this portion of width of 0.6 meter from the elevation that means this is first footing is of width 0.6 meter second footing of 0.5 and third footing of 0.4 meter we have number of main wall one we have the center line 19.6 meter and the breadth is 0.6 meter and the height of this first footing is 0.2 meter so the total quantity is 2.35 similarly we have the second footing number one the length is center line length that is 19.6 meter breadth is 0.5 meter from elevation and the height is 0.2 meter that means this portion is 0.2 meter so we get the total quantity 1.96 Similarly, we have third footing number one. Length is 19.6, that is center line length. This width is 0.4 meter and the height is 0.45 plus 0.25, that is 0.7. And we get the total quantity 5.49. Now we have this veranda pillar three in number, that is central one and sides two. So number equals to three. We have this first footing of this veranda pillar 0.5 meter so length equals to 0.5 and width is also 0.5 and this height is 0.2 meter and we get the total quantity 0.15 similarly we have this second footing of this pillar up to the height of this plinth level that means we have three number of this veranda pillar having the length of 0.4 meter and this width is also 0.4 meter being a square column and this height is 0.45 plus 0.25 that is 0.7 meter and the total quantity is 0.34 unit is cubic meter now we have to do this veranda dwarf walls now we have to see the section of this pillar and we have the width of 0.5 meter at the height of 20 plus 25 that is 45 centimeter below the ground level at the same time in this main wall below 45 centimeter that means up to this portion we have this main wall of 50 centimeter so these main wall are of 50 centimeter and in this veranda portion we have 20 centimeter wall below 45 centimeter from this ground level so these are of 20 centimeter width so we have 0.5 meter pillar in this veranda portion and these portion are of 0.2 meter width that is this is 0.2 meter so we have this front long wall i'll do this as lower portion so we have number one and we have length equals to center to center length 4.5 minus this pillar is already calculated but we have the center line from this point to this point so we have to reduce this portion that is 0.5 by 2 this portion that is 0.5 and this portion that is 0.5 by 2 so minus 0.5 by 2 from this side and 0.5 from this central pillar and again 0.5 by 2 from this side pillar so the total length is 3.5 meter and we have this width 0.2 meter so width equals to 0.2 and the height is this 0.2 meter 
and the total quantity is 0.14 now we have to calculate this upper portion that means we have calculated this 20 centimeter width up to the height of 20 centimeter we have calculated this veranda portion into two portion that is 0.2 meter width up to the height of 20 centimeter Th that means remaining portion is 0.7 meter because this total is 0.9 meter and we have already calculated this 0.2 meter so remaining is 0.7 meter so in this portion we have the wall of 0.4 meter pillar so these pillars are 0.4 meter and this is 25 meter below the ground level and in this portion of this main wall that means below the 25 centimeter there is a main wall of 40 centimeter so these are the main wall of 40 centimeter at the same time below the 20 centimeter from the ground level we have this veranda pillar of 20 centimeter width so this is the width of 0.2 meter and the length equals to center line length 4.5 minus 0.4 by 2 for one side and for central pillar we have reduced minus 0.4 and for another side pillar we have reduced minus 0.4 by 2 length equals to 3.7 and we have this pillar width of 0.2 meter and the height of this is 0.7 and the total quantity is 0.52 now our next step is to calculate the short wall so for this we need to see that below the ground level up to the height of 45 centimeter there is the pillar of 50 centimeter width and in this main wall also below the ground level up to the height of this 45 centimeter there is a width of the wall of 0.5 meter here we have this pillar of 0.5 meter width and this main wall is also of 0.5 meter width and in this uh, veranda portion also we have this 0.2 meter wall so here is a 0.2 meter width of the wall we have the center line length 2.3 meter that is this is 2.3 meter we have already calculated this pillar portion so we have to reduce this small portion that is this portion is 0.5 by 2 and it coincides with the main wall of 0.5 meters so we have to reduce this small 0.5 by 2 to obtain this length from this portion to this portion so minus 0.5 by 2 so length equals to 1.8 and breadth is 0.2 meter that is this width is 0.2 and the height is 0.2 meter and the total quantity is 0.14 we have considered this as this lower portion and this part as upper portion and below the ground level we have this height of 25 centimeter and we have the width of 40 centimeter and here below the ground level up to the height of 25 centimeter so it means that we have the main wall of 0.4 meter that is these main walls are of 0.4 meter and this pillar is a width of 0.4 meter that is these pillars are of 0.4 meter and this veranda portion is of width of 0.2 meter that is this portion is 0.2 meter and the length is center line length of this veranda portion is 2.3 meter and we have to reduce this small portion that is 0.4 by 2 and this portion of main wall is 0.4 by 2 so minus 0.4 by 2 and again minus 0.4 by 2 so the length is 1.9 meter width is 0.2 height is 0.7 total quantity is 0.53 now we have to do the estimation for the steps we can see here the length of this step is 2 meter which is given in the plan so the number of step is 1 and the length of this step is 2 meter we have this length of this tread 30 centimeter here that means this portion is 30 centimeter and this portion is 30 centimeter so the total length of this tread is 60 centimeter that is 0.6 meter and if we have the two breadths then we take the average of these two that means this portion is 0.6 meter and this is 0.3 meters so we can easily write the width as v equals to 0.6 meter plus 0.3 meter by 2 so width equals to 0.45 and the height of this risers are 15 centimeter each that means this is 15 centimeter and this is 15 centimeter so we get the total length of this riser 30 centimeter so we get this height of the steps 0.3 meter and the total quantity is 0.27 cubic meter and when we add all these we get the total quantity 11.88 cubic meter now we have to do this 2.5 centimeter thick dpc we can see here that this dpc is kept over this 30 centimeter wall that means in this portion dpc is kept 
so we have to put this tpc all over the wall having this 30 centimeter width that means in this portion in this portion except this door and similarly we have to put this tpc over this veranda pillar having this 30 centimeter width that means in this portion this portion and this portion but we don't put this dpc over this veranda openings so we have the number of main wall one we have the center line that is 19.6 meter and we have the width of this main wall 0.3 meter and in dpc we don't write its height and we get the total quantity 5.88 and the unit is meter square now we have to put the dpc over this veranda pillar we have three number of this veranda pillars so number equals to three and the length and breadth of this veranda portion is 0.3 meter so length equals to 0.3 and width is also 0.3 and the total quantity is 0.27 now we don't put tpc over this door portion so we have to reduce this length so we have the one number of door having the length of 1.1 meter and the width is the width of the wall that is 0.3 and we get the total quantity 0.33 and we get the total quantity 5.82 now our next step is to calculate this first class brickwork in cement mortar in the superstructure. For this we need to see the section and we have this height of this superstructure 3.6 meter from our elevation. We have number of main wall 1, length of 19.6 meter and we have width of the wall 0.3 and the height of superstructure is 3.6 meter from our elevation. So we get the total quantity 21.17. Now we have to do this brickwork in this veranda portion. And we can see here that we have this veranda up to the height of this 2.5 meter and above that we have the lintels. So we have three number of this veranda pillar having the length of 0.3 meter and width of 0.3 meter. And we have the height of veranda up to the superstructure that is 2.5 meter and we get the total quantity 0.68. Now we are going to do this brickwork for this lintel portion and for this we need to see the section of xy we have this veranda pillar up to the height of 250 that means we have this portion 10 centimeter plus 10 centimeter veranda pillar so we have this 20 centimeter veranda lintel all above this veranda so we have to consider this lintel portion from this point to this point in the veranda front that means this portion is 4.2 meter plus 0.3 meter wall from this side and 0.3 meter wall from this side then we will get this total outer to outer length so this length is 4.8 meter so we have front long wall 1 and we have the length inner dimension of this room 4.2 plus 2 times of 0.3 so the length is 4.8 meter from this point to this point and the width of this veranda lintel portion is 0.3 meter because this is the pillar of 0.3 meter width and the height of this veranda lintel is 20 centimeter. So the total quantity is 0.29. Now we have to do this side short wall. We have two number of side short walls and we have this inner side of this veranda 2 meter that means this portion to this portion is 2 meter and we have already considered this part while doing the long wall so our length equals to 2 meter and the width is 0.3 meter and the height is 0.2 meter so the total quantity is 0.24 now we have to consider this parapet wall that means this portion is our parapet wall in the superstructure which can be easily seen from this elevation also and this parapet is of 30 centimeter height and it is of 20 centimeter width so first we have to calculate the outer to outer dimension of this wall to this wall that means this parapet wall to this parapet wall so we will obtain 4.2 plus 2 times of 0.3 that is 4.8 meter and we have reduced this point to this point that is 0.2 by 2 on one side and 0.2 by 2 from this side so in this outer to outer length i will reduce 2 times of 0.2 by 2 now i will obtain this center to center line of this point to this point but we have the same length of the center line from this side also so I can simply multiply by 2 similarly I have this vertical length of the room 5 meter and this wall is 0.3 meter and this wall is also 0.3 meter so total outer, outer to outer length is 
5 plus 2 times of 0 0.3 that is 5.6 meter from this side but we need the center to center length that means this point to this point so we have to reduce 0 0.2 by 2 from this side and 0 0.2 by 2 from this side so i have to add 5 plus 2 times of 0 0.3 to get this outer to outer and again minus 2 times of 0 0.2 by 2 and I have the same center to center length from this side also so I can multiply by 2 and the total center line is 20 so we have number of parapet wall 1 having the center line of 20 having the width of 0 0.2 meter up to the height of 0 0.3 meter that is 30 centimeter so we get the total quantity 1.2 cubic meter but while calculating this superstructure, we have not considered this doors, windows and this lintel. So we have to deduct those doors, openings, cells and this lintel portion. We have number of doors 1 having the length of 1.1 and height of 2.1. So length equals to 1.1 and width of the wall is 0 0.3 and the height is 2.1. So we get the total quantity 0 0.69. Similarly, we have... 5 number of windows so number of window equals to 5 and we have this length equals to 0 0.9 meter and height equals to 1.5 so length equals to 0 0.9 width is 0 0.3 meter wall and the height is 1.5 so the total quantity is 2.03 similarly we have the cells having the length of 90 centimeter that is 0 0.9 meter so we have one number of cells having the length of 0 0.9 meter we have this self in this portion and this width is 0 0.2 meter so width equals to 0 0.2 and the height of the self is 1.5 meter so the total quantity is 0 0.27 we have to deduct this lintel portion of the main wall that means this portion so we have the main walls one having the center line of 19.6 meter and the width of this lintel is 0 0.3 meter we can see here the length of this lintel is 10 centimeter that is 0 0.1 meter so our total quantity is 0 0.59 and the total quantity is 19.99 and the unit is cubic meter in this way we have completed the full estimation of a building